Greetings and welcome to Religious Diecast videos. Today we're going to talk about Skylines. Yes, Skylines, not just the GTRs. I've talked about the GTRs a lot in the past. We will be talking about the GTR, of course, but not only uh, the GTR, also known as the R35, uh, dropping the Skyline moniker, but uh, we will be also talking about the R30, new model, new model for 2018, uh, 82. Uh, Nissan Skyline R30 and the R33, also another new model. This one was released as part of the factory fresh, so it's supposed to be as stock as possible. And this one, it, although it's also very stock, is part of a then and now. So let's start with the Nissan GTR R R35. So the first release was this orange version of the. 2017 Nissan GTR. They already had the, the previous version, which was not a very good model in my opinion. But they seem to have addressed all the issues of the previous version with this very cool looking, aggressive looking R35. 2017 R35. The stance is very, very cool. Um, all the details seem to be there and correct uh, as far as we can be correct uh, for a $1 model. Uh, even the front is tempered. As you can see here, here the lights, headlights are plastic inserts, so that's a cool addition. But just the stance of the thing is amazing. It's like, it's very low to the ground. It looks aggressive. It looks like it can go really, really fast. And that's great. Uh, some people have been having trouble with the, the tempos in the front, sometimes they can be misaligned. Uh, I've been lucky enough to not have that problem, so that's cool. After that, there is a grey version, and, that, and it looks just as good. <coughs> uh, so the tempos here, as you can see, are a little bit misaligned bearing a little bit to the left. Everything else is cool. So great model, great new model for Hot Wheels. Uh, good job, Hot Wheels team, Hot Wheels designers. But let's see, how does it compare to the competition? And we will start with the Tomica version, also released this year. Uh, so they updated their version. And it's a great looking model. And uh, as always with Tomica, you can uh, find details that you will not find in Hot Wheels, but also it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, in terms of scale, it's uh, slightly bigger than the Hot Wheels version, which seems to be closer to 164. This one is 162. And uh, in terms of colors, we have a slight difference. This one is uh, more saturated. This one varying a little bit towards uh, brown, even though it's orange. Uh, inside, two-tone inside for the for the Tomica, one plastic piece for the Hot Wheels, opening opening doors for the Tomica as, as usual. This is the same size as the previous version they did. Uh, plastic inserts for the front, uh, slightly better definition than the, the Hot Wheels one, but not by much. Proper or what look like proper rear wing and uh, yeah good quality as always with Tomica very good model also a little bit more expensive uh, another version that I have is from 7-Eleven uh, in uh, I think it was in Taiwan as part of the Nissan set so this one is way bigger like uh, it's not even trying to be 164 uh, it's more probably closer to 155 or something, see? But in terms of detail, it's, uh, it's a great way to see how well does the Hot Wheels version fare. And I have to say, it fares pretty, pretty well. Sure, it is less detail overall, it doesn't have side mirrors, but the Tomica doesn't have side mirrors either. But once again, for a $1 model, and what is basically a toy, it is pretty cool. Now, if we want to go 
even more crazy in terms of uh, detail and uh, we have the Tomica limited vintage Neo version. So this is one step higher up the ladder and um, so some people have been complaining about the size of the wheels. I'm not sure. Uh, I think they're okay. Maybe slightly bigger. I'm, I'm not sure. Seriously, the, this this the actual car is huge, and the wheels are kind of huge too. Uh, what do we have here that we don't have on Autos? First, in terms of scale. So this is 164. So that makes this probably closer to 165 or smaller. Let's compare the front. Uh, those headlights are very, very nice. The grille is more detailed, of course. Side mirrors, the wheels, well, you know. And uh, you have the brake calipers here, brake discs. Back. Once again, not bad for a $1 model. This one doesn't have uh, painted tail ads, but actually plastic inserts. And the kicker is the inside with, look at that wheel. Two-tone wheel. And also, well, we have suspensions. Something I really enjoy, if you've been following my channel. And here, just for kicks, another Tomica Limited Vintage. This one is the N-Attack or Nismo version. Uh, this is a Nismo, also in 164, and uh, yeah, crazy looking car. I hope they make a version, because that would be cool to have one in the, in the Hot Wheels line, but uh, there you have it, very cool looking car, and oh yeah, let's see the, those wheels. Yeah, they seem to be smaller on the Nismo, but it might be just... Uh, uh, optic illusion not sure anyway there you have it Hot Wheels new GTR pretty good job can't wait to see the upcoming variations because I'm pretty sure they're not going to leave this one alone for too long and probably we're going to have some crazy graphics drift thing type that would be cool so there you have it let me know uh, what you think in the comments down below. Do you think they always did a good job with this one well, uh, while uh, updating the model? I think it's a very, very good model. I, I really like it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Eliso Diecast for more behind the scenes and uh, pictures and all kind of crazy stuff. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe and uh, comment, of course. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.